Well, welcome back to AIM. I'm your driver, AE, and we are going to be doing a door lock right now. For some reason, we already filmed it, but it came up upside down for some reason. Now, knowing my luck, it's going to be no audio. First, you can see Dra Deacon's car, Phoenix, was bumped at one time, right? Look at all the rust that came out from under that Bondo. Especially when I beat most of the den out like they could have done. But they filled this thing with Bondo and they even clean it. I mean, whatever numbnuts that did this needs to not be in a body shop. Because they even bondo the inside of the door. Who Bondos the inside of a door when it's damaged? Replace the door. I mean, this is the worst body work I have ever seen and I've done some bad body work myself trust me that is crap that is garbage whoever did that and they know who it is I suggest you get them out of your shop so I got my helper today Egan. and here's the door latch assembly we gotta go put back in white out and the only reason we did it is because this rod was all bent to crap and the only way to get to it and get it out is to take it all the way up. It's a fun process. Not too hard, not too fast. Yep. The, the hardest part is getting your little yellow clip there to open up. But once you do, it, everything else from there is not too bad. So, we are going to head out there. Um, I need the 10 in my other gun too, because we're going to do the same thing we did on this one. On the other gun. Right, it's right here. So, 10 millimeter and a T30. Grab that. The T30 is for the side of the door locks. The 10 is to get the door handle off for better clearance. And you can see better. So, here's the parts car, white out, which is paying dividends left and right. Because we'll be shooting another video here soon. And it's about the window regulators we took out of this car. <laughs> little bit of this, little bit of that. As you can see, she is a parts car, she's full of parts. So, don't be haters. If you want be haters, just leave us a comment. Give me that, you take that, and away we go. You look so much better out here with Mike. All right, so this thing, you gotta kinda wiggle jiggle in there. And the hardest part of getting it all done is right here. You gotta hook the inner door rod. Oops, excuse me, right there. And then, yes, you do have an electrical connector. It's got a pop-up thing just like the throttle body, so be careful. Don't break it. Just gotta go this way. Up. So now we feed this sucker. Back up in here. Putting that... Now, you can twist it. And once you twist it, it fits your hook right here. And you hook it back through and twist. And just like that, you just did yourself a door latch. Not too hard, not too difficult, not even time consuming. Yep. I mean, to do a quick recap to get to this thing, and you just gotta pop your door cup off. Once you get the door cup off, you take your two bolts out from your door handle, you get those out, and then you find the notch in your door panel. You pop your door panel off, remove your protective skin, and bam, you are there. About the same idea as doing a window regulator because you're going to be right here in the same spot. Now I don't know the torque specs on these. They do still have the factory lock type. And I can't imagine them being too over torque because then you're going to have yourself some other problems. Door handle. This is where you need your 10 millimeter. It slides in like this and it's got these two little tabs down here. It'll lock it in. So let's install that. First, you put your metal piece in, you slide this in, and she's there. So now we put the two bolts in, which I thought I would put 
is easier done by hand than trying to reach in with an extension and a socket because you're just going to drop your stuff everywhere. Why do they always go on? They come up hard and go on hard. And don't forget to hook up your connector. It sits up above everything, but it's easy to get to because it just snapped right back in. That goes in that hole. Here's the good one. That's your little booty thing that goes in. It snaps in. It's just a piece of, it's like a plug kind of. If it wants to go back in. There it goes. Just like that. So now. Door handle back in. Possible. Now that's hooked up. That's hooked up. Now we hook up that yellow thing I was talking about. Now, there is no adjustment needed. Do not start trying to change everything. Just snap it back in and you're back into the OE specs. Otherwise, you're gonna have way too much fun. Oh, one goes on the other side. It goes right there. Where does this one go? Same thing on the other side, though. Just go, yeah, goes on that side. Oh. Thing we'll deal with that another time. So, if you want to do a closer, go ahead and do a closer because we're done doing that part. It's super quick and easy. Yep. And after that, we will do the wheel rigging. Okay. Uh, no. You hit that rotate button. Watch. All right. No, I guess we can't. There is a way to flip. How about you just do the closer? No, I don't do closer. You do closer. No, you. I did the opener. No, you did the closer lesson. Paper, rock, scissors. Okay. <clears throat> just joking. Fine. Give me the phone. Oh. I'm still new at this, and I don't want this thing to do an upside-down video because, for some reason, that's what I did last time with Deegan. Deegan, you pull this tape off, please. Okay. We don't need it now that the door latches back in. Okay. So, that's it for this episode. Don't have much else until the next one. So, please, like, subscribe. It's their company, my two sons' company. Not mine, theirs. I'm just the ranch. So, please like, subscribe, leave us a comment, good, bad, or not. We will reply the best we can. So, please join the flock. And please just kind of, besides me, give my boys a little push, I guess. So, until the next one, I hope you guys see us later. This is AA, and we are gone.